welcome to the floor of my office. I am sat on the floor. There is a chair behind me, but I chose to sit on the floor. So um, here we are. But that's because I want to share with you this bad boy behind me. It is a very old, very 80s looking desk that I'm going to upcycle in today's video because I desperately need a place that I can use for doing DIYs and sitting down at to edit some videos. So, because my office is undergoing a bit of a mini facelift at the moment, I want to share that with you guys when there's more to be shared. So in the meantime, let's tackle this. And because it's back to school season, not only am I going to upcycle this piece, I'm also going to do some styling on the top and share with you guys a few tips to make your space a little bit more fun, but also hopefully usable if you're going back to school or you're setting up a home office or something like that. So, so with all of that being said, and because I now have pins and needles, let's get up and start tackling this DIY. So here's the desk in its current state. Here's a little bit of a close up. As you can see, it's kind of just a veneer that's been stained in this mahogany color. I'm gonna lighten it up a bit. I thought about sanding it, but to be honest, there's lots of little ridges and details and I can't be bothered. So, <laughs> I found this in Poundland recently and I'm gonna try it out. It's chalk finish furniture paint with a matte finish. So we're gonna test this. If it doesn't work, no harm done because this is an old piece that I got for free. But if it does, then we'll give it a thumbs up. And I wanna do something a bit different with the drawer fronts as well. So I found a few of these bath mats from Home Bargains. They were $4.99. This was a few months ago, but they should still have them. And uh, I thought I could try and cover the front of the drawers with them. We'll see. Watch this plan go horribly, horribly wrong. But uh, that's the idea. <laughs> The desk is all sanded and now I'm gonna spray paint it. I'm gonna open the window really well and ventilate the whole space and do it in small bursts with a mask on. However, this is more of a do as I say, not as I do kind of moment. I would take it outside, but A, it is torrential rain outside and B, this is really heavy and I don't wanna take it down the stairs because we all know what happens when I start moving furniture around. It's a really bad idea. So please, if you're spray painting, do it outside if you can, or in a very, very well ventilated space, which is what I'm about to do now. Before I start painting, I'm just hanging up a few sheets of spare lining paper so that I don't get it all over the walls. <laughs> I just ran my hand over it and um, oh that's not so bad but it just <laughs> took all the paint off and uh, some of the stain is coming through here so I'm just I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way <sighs> In order to actually remove the handles from the drawers, I had to remove the whole of the drawer front, which was fun because I had to put them back together as well. But with the handles removed, they were ready for paint and a little bit of DIYing. Progress update. This is what's going on. The desk is nearly done. I've got another coat to do on the legs and some little bits here and there. And then I just have to finish the drawer fronts. Then I'm going to measure and cut the bath mat to size and put it all together. Don't mind the wall. This is all of the fun of having a disco ball. Disco. 
While the paint was drying on the drawer fronts, I took apart the wooden bath mats and cut them down to size. I measured between the trim on the front of the drawer fronts because this was where I was going to place the bath mat and then I just cut it to the right size for each of the drawers. To give the pieces a really good hold on the front of the drawers, I used wood glue to adhere them. I just used a little bit, making sure to go in all of the corners, pressing down firmly and then adding a few heavy objects to keep them in place while they dried. And I decided to give these copper handles a quick spray paint so that they matched with the rest of my desk decor. And of course, I painted them gold. <laughs> and you've probably seen me do this before, but I'm just measuring where they're going to be before I start drilling the holes, because once you've drilled the holes, you can't go back. Because the drawer pulls had really long screws, I ended up drilling through both layers of the wood, the front of the drawer and the drawer itself, and then putting them in that way. Here's a quick project that I made with a spare bath mat that I had so that it would tie in with the drawers. I just took this extra bath mat and applied it to the front of a photo frame. Because I didn't want to ruin the photo frame, I ended up just using blue tack to stick it into place. And this makes for a really handy pin board. If you want, you can always add some cardboard or some cork behind it if you're worried that your bath mat or whatever you're using is a bit too thin to push pins into. But mine worked out really well. And now it's time to put everything together. So here is the styling montage. And with all of that being done, this is how the desk turned out. I'm really pleased with the final result of this piece. I can't believe how different it looks. The dark wood made it look so much darker and made the space look a bit gloomy. And now it's completely brightened up and I think it will be a really nice place to do some DIYs and be able to film them for you guys. And I actually ended up not getting an outro for this video today. So I thought I would just jump in and say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you if you're going back to school or university or you just want to shuffle your office space or your desk in your own home. With all of that being said, thank you guys again and I hope you have a great week. Happy DIYing!